What's going on everybody, Josh Pocock here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Loeb Chat. Unlock the superpower of your brain, pioneering the new age of thinking and creating built for you, the super individual. This is an open source tool that allows you to basically connect all your local LLMs, your any LLM really, whether it's local, uh, OpenAI, Anthropic, um, whatever the case may be, it can do TTS, ST, uh, STT, visual models. Um, really anything you can create agents it has an agent marketplace a plugin marketplace you can self-host it on your uh, home server ho home computer or on a VPS or a server we're going to show you how to do it let's dive right in all right guys so this is the github repo i'll leave a link in the description down below and this is the website here so as you can see, um, you could try out their cloud version. I don't know if... Uh... Okay, so it does look like if you sign up for their cloud server, they do charge either 9 bucks, 20 bucks, or 40 bucks. I'm not even going to go over the pricing plans or anything like that because I'm going to show you how to host it locally. But for some reason, if you ever did want to try out their cloud, you could test it out. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do it for free. So anyways, um, of course, you know, if you're using non-local models, you got to pay through the API credits like Anthropic or OpenAI, but you could just use Olama as well. That's really cool about this tool. So I'm going to quickly go over um, some of the features here, and then I'm going to actually show you to self-host it, get it installed and up and running. So um, it's a pretty long GitHub, but we'll just quickly skim through it. So local model support, model vision recognition, TTS and STT voice conversation, uh, text to image generation plugin system for function calling which is pretty cool um so you could show some different uh, plugins here there's a bunch different of uh, different ones agent marketplace so like gpts support local and remote data uh database clerk and next off and then progressive web app um mobile device adaption um i guess you could it's uh mobile optimized and then custom themes and yeah that's pretty much it so you could deploy on one of these platforms such as Vercel or anything like that but we're just going to use docker so first things first you're going to need docker installed so you can go to docker.com if you don't have that installed so if you're running this command on a mac or linux you could pr uh, pretty much just use this exact command for me i'm currently uh, using a Windows. So if you're on Windows, for example, um, you're going to want to run this command right here. And I'll leave this in the description down below. If you run this, it won't work. So it's actually very simple to get up and running. You're literally just going to run um, that command and it's going to start pulling right here, the containers, and it's going to get that up and running. So simply just run this command or this command if you're on Linux or Mac. And also too, um, there is some additional like configurations you could do for deployment. Like if you want to uh run use open ai service through a proxy you can do it this way and there's also a detailed um deployment guide right here in their docs right so i'll leave a link to their docs as well if you want to do different ty types of deployment you can check some of this out you'll see all the different ways to deploy but um this way that i'm showing you is probably the most uh simple way to do th things um and then once you get things going you'll basically have a uh, lobe chat like let me just show you it's going to be port local it's going to be your local host and then port three two uh one zero so three two one zero and then you'll see once it loads going to look something like this well actually you're going to have a, like a little welcome page you can just click continue and then it's going to bring you to the chat interface like we see here so I'm just going to go over some of the interface features. So if we go up here to session settings, this is where you'll be able to do all your configurations. Well, a lot of them. So we can see like comment settings. We can see different themes. Of course, we're going to go with the dark theme. Um, we can see language, font size, different colors, etc. Access password. You can reset settings, clear, uh, clear all session me memory. Um, this is system assistant. So you can change the different assistants for different types of things. And then language model, this is where you're going to want to go to change what uh, model you're using. So right now, just for um, you know, keeping things simple, I just put in an open AI API key, but you could change either use this, you could use um, change some different 
you know configurations here if you want to use different models you can just select them here now if you're going to want to use olama or something like that you could um basically just use that right here olama and you'll see you can just add your different models you can do the same thing for microsoft azure google gemini anthropic uh, amazon a uh, aws bedrock grok open router together ai deep seek mistral ai and then i guess there's a bunch of chinese ones here so you really get to pick there's pretty much uh any one that you could think of and then text to speech i believe um the main one is open ai uh yeah so if you're gonna do text to speech or anything like that you're gonna need to open ai api key and then you can select default assistant here and i'll show you about assistance in just a second all right, so they also do have this file section right here. Now, my current deployment is in um, is not supported for file management. So the current deployment instance is in client database mode and file management features are not available. Please switch to server database deployment or use Lobe Chat Cloud directly. So if you want to do that, I'm not going to cover that right now, but you could check out this link right here and it's going to show you how to do that. If you do set that up, then you're going to be able to do things like multi-file text parsing, uh, vector semantics, and knowledge base retrieval. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's very powerful. I really like this tool for kind of like an all-encompassing um, chat interface for your LLMs. Here in Discovery is where you'll actually be able to see the community of different agents. So we can see like all agents, and these agents are like specifically prompted and programmed for... Um, you know specific things like if i go to growth coach let's just say for example let's say add assistant oh add assistant and converse um then we can start talking to our growth coach right here and we can see actually the prompt right here you know you are a growth coach blah 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 there's a bunch of different points right here and um we can just start talking hey help me grow my business please and then it should start talking what specific um results do you want to achieve and then you could start telling it about you know your obviously your personal um you know situation now here is where you can select the different models so we have open ai here olama and you know if you connected other apis or, or turn those on then you'll be able to see them there you can upload images um this is the file section which we don't have this is the randomness uh level right here um this is unlimited history message count um and then this is voice input so uh you would have to use um, open ai for that and then this is the extensions and then we're, we're going to cover that in just a second and then here is Kind of just like an overview of your chat so you can see context details rule settings pro, uh, plugins used chat messages total use remaining available um, for for uh, context or tokens and then you can clear current session and make it bigger and that's pretty much it so in the extensions if we go here you can actually check out the plugin store and there's a bunch of different plugins there's google search plugins there's steam there's current time there's a dm toolkit um so i don't know you know i haven't looked at all all these there's a bunch you could check some of them out mid journey um some of them may or may not fully be you know 100 percent functional per se i don't know um but i did have some issues with a couple ones but there are some that definitely work like for example let's go ahead and turn on dally turn on weather gpt and let's just say what is the weather tomorrow in toronto and if everything goes well we can see that it is using a function call for weather gpt to check the weather and we can see that the weather right here is you know whatever and you can find more details here now let's say please generate me an image showing me what it will look like and then it should use the dally function call and there's different image generation extensions that you can use not just dally i'm just using that just for the case of this video but as you can see it generated a, a prompt right here a beautiful outdoor scene in toronto with clear skies showcasing the iconic skyline in the background and then the forecast features a vibrant 
park with people enjoying the day, sitting on benches and walking, blah, 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 blah. And boom, here we go. We got our image right here. Looking, I mean, I was going to say looking beautiful, but it's looking interesting for sure. Um, you know, kind of, I mean, it looks okay, you know. But anyways, so that's pretty cool. Regardless, you can create assistance, create um, extensions, you know, leverage the community's extensions as well as their assistance. And um, yeah, it's pretty powerful. I think it's uh, going to be continuously developed upon. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below regarding Lobe Chat. If you used it before, if you have any other tools you want me to do videos on, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions or issues about uh, installing it, let me know and I'll do my best to assist you. Also too, guys, if you're new to the channel, we upload videos every single day on AI, growth, marketing, uh, coding, um, really anything along those type of lines with the newest cutting edge technology that I find I'm going to be sharing with you guys as well as different strategies, tools, tutorials, etc. So if you got some value here uh, and you want to stay a part of the journey, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Also too, guys, you haven't already joined our free community strikecommunity.com link for that will be in the description down below we got a free facebook group and free discord channel 100 free you can network with other like-minded individuals uh, ai enthusiasts business owners entrepreneurs coaches agency owners whatever the case may be as well as myself and also too guys if you haven't already checked out my book client acquisition code a, a very in-depth guide about using AI to grow your business, get uh, appointments on autopilot. Definitely check that out. Link for that will be in the description down below. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.